Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's What's go. up, baby? Let's go. Oh, I don't even need this yet. Really. Huh? <laughs> I don't need that. We might as well put that on. Let's I go. I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna put it on my neck. Hold Let's on. go. Hi guys. Yo, it's Thursday again. Thursday. We back. It's Thursday. <laughs> we talking about it tonight. Mm -hmm. Sorry, so late. You know, you know things happen. We got stuck in mad traffic out there. Couldn't even get up to the building, so it was crazy. So, and we couldn't even find no park. So that's what happened. And that's that with that. And I'm sticking to it. But we about to go live in a minute tonight. We talking about um, we talking about interracial relationships. Interracial relationships. I really want to hear how y'all feel about it. You know, nine two nine W D U P. Let's talk about the four one one. Doctor J House call in the building. You got Zantia right here on my side, the queen of 929 WDUP. Let's go. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? We up here on here. You know, we here. And let's right. chat in the chat chat in the message because I love chatting with you guys. You know what I'm saying? We represent let's the Sunrun. We represent the Sunrun. 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 You know what I'm saying? But um, holla at me. Yo, I'm a, I, I think Johnson. I'm gonna do all. Hey, Bobby Johnson. Thanks I'm gonna do like all Biggie Smalls today. That's what I feel like. I feel like Biggie Smalls today. I don't know. I love it. I love Biggie. I feel like Biggie Smalls today. So we are gonna need somebody on the radio, somebody on the um the speaker over there. You want me to? And then we are gonna need somebody over here. But right now we about to go live, so stay tuned. We about to go live, man. We about to talk about it. We got like two minutes. Two minutes, we about to go live on WDUP. Let's talk about the 411-929. Let's go. Tune in. 929WDUP.com. Tune in so you can listen to all the madness. But here, we get it raw. You get everything right here. So, we about to turn up. Got that Biggie Smalls in the background. If you want to hear the music, y'all got to get on live. Not on live, but y'all got to get on the radio. 929WDUP.com. Get on the radio so y'all can hear it. And then push live, and you can hear all the music. You can hear everything right there. We're about to go live in like a minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Did you break it? Look at that shit, bro. <laughs> ah, okay. All right, you just tell ah. me. Let me know what. Uh, can you? All right, let's go. All right, ready? Earphones on. All right, here we go. Ah. No, 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 no. Yo, y'all gotta listen to the you gotta listen to the radio. Yes. 929WDUP.com. I'ma say it like 50,000 times so you can listen to it live on the radio. We're about to go live. We ready. Yeah. We on the radio. Okay, now we back. Hey, hey, hey. We back. We on the radio. It's Thursday. What's up, New London? The Whalers. <laughs> Whalers. Here we go with the sports. What's going on in New the London? The Whalers. What's going on today? in sports up in New London? I don't know. It's baseball season. Yeah, big, baseball is big in New London. So, baseball. New London, New London like baseball too. Football yeah. too. And yeah. All the things. Yeah, they, they new, listen. New London thinks they're good at everything. <laughs> all you know right. what I'm saying? I'm not mad at it. So, it's all the confidence. You, you can't. You can't be mad at it. Nope, I'm you know not. Saying? You can't be mad at me. If you think you're good at everything, they, they believe in that green and gold. They said that they, they bleed that green and gold. Is that the colors, green yeah, and gold? Yeah, green and gold. All right, I yeah. like it. Uh, you like it? I like it. I okay. love it, actually. The Celtics, when the Celtics go green and gold, I love it. Yeah. I'm, yeah. And yeah. Forget about the Celtics. I, you know, I mean, listen. They just I, advanced, so they, why they are we forgetting advance. about them? So why are we forgetting about listen, them? Listen, they did advance, but they're not 
I, I don't feel that they're going to win the chip. Oh, I feel like they have a, a good chance at it. I Listen, mean, but they, they all do. If they, they don't win do. the chip this year, it's done. Why? Everything's done. Why? The whole, the, the, everything's going to just fall off. Everything's crazy. But the truth of the matter is, I'm really happy about the Knicks being in yes, the sir. running. Yes, so. sir. <laughs> the Knicks, baby. I might have to jump ship Don't suck about for a minute the Knicks. if they do. You know, I'm going to put it out there when they Come get on, to the Celtics. New York? I am, I am. Okay, so you got to represent the Knicks. That's what I said. That's what I said. I'm definitely going to do it because they're like the number one, and my dad would roll over in his grave if he knew that I was rooting <laughs> for the Celtics over the Knicks. Okay. So I can't you know do saying? it. Come on, I you got to do get it. with the Knickerbockers, man. <laughs> yeah. Listen, the Knicks got two star players out, two all stars out. And they still advancing. So follow the Knicks, man. Tomorrow yeah. night, at 8 o'clock, Knickerbockers, man. Can't Get wait. that boy Jalen Brunson. That boy Jalen Brunson been doing work. Yeah. For real. Yeah. He's you know good. what I'm saying? So yep. I'm, a, I'm all about the Knicks, man. I'm a Knick fan. You I've know? been so. enjoying watching them this playoff season for sure. Yeah. I haven't really watched, honestly, I haven't really watched much of basketball regular season, but mm-hmm. I've been into the playoffs and it's been fun catching up with the players yes. and who's good and what's what. It's, yes. it's, it's, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Listen, what you drinking? Um, this might look like coffee from the in-house, um, but it's actually a special martini. It is. Yeah, look. Okay. Yeah, what is that? Sure that's it's, the, that's it's, like. It's ready to drink espresso martini. Ooh, that's that's um special right there. Yes, it is. Okay, so, I'm not, so I'm I thought I'd give it a try. try. Yeah, yeah. So <clears throat> it doesn't have is the bay leaves. It's not bad. This was like. $13. Oh, $13. Damn. <laughs> yeah. That's cheap espresso martini right there. Holla. Who that at? I need to go get some of that. It's not bad. <laughs> is that down the street or where'd you get that at? I got that, that in Worcester? Worcester. I got that in Worcester. Oh, you got to get that in Worcester. Yeah, I got that you in go Worcester. Go all the Worcester to get that. <laughs> espresso martini in a bottle. In a bottle. I did the have big that. bottle. Not the small bottle. The I'm, big bottle. You know I got, um, I got... I accidentally forgot to buy Bailey's, oh, okay. but I found one Bailey shot in my car, so I put half of half of it in here and have the other half for here we when go. this is done. So I'm happy. And away we go. And away we go. Here we are. So and special martinis. Are. Thank you very much. You know, thank you. Big I did have. Big shout out to them. I did have dinner beforehand, and I had a couple of special martinis, so I didn't want to like mix it up. Okay, so you a couple, much? so you a couple down the road. Though. I'm a couple down the road. All right. But I did have food, and it was very delicious. Uh huh. Okay. Ain't nothing like going out to a nice restaurant and having some good food. I'm obsessed yeah. with it, and that's my problem. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, amongst the few Who's others, not obsessed with it? I'm obsessed with Come going on, out man. to eat. I Who love doesn't it? like a nice meal, <laughs> happy hour? Chill, few drinks. Somebody you know else is catering to you. Somebody else is catering to you. Yeah. You can go home at eight, nine o'clock and yeah. be good still. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love that. it. Now, that, that's what happens when you get further along in life. Yeah. You know what I mean? When yeah. you get further along in life, you appreciate the, the small early things. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the things that get started early. You yeah. know, back in the day we, we used to get in the we used to get in the spot, we didn't get in there until like eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock. Yeah. You know, yep. but now we get we try to get there for happy hour. <laughs> Let's start at happy hour at four o'clock. I mean, I'm not that further up. I mean, I'm a little past happy hour, but oh, not okay. much, much past yeah. happy hour. <laughs> so <laughs> I was like, oh, I, was like, oh, I can start at happy hour. Okay. Maybe towards the end, <laughs> yeah, well, one or two. That's what I'm saying. Like, listen, so you ain't part of the happy hour, though. Okay, I'm no. in the happy hour. Yeah, he's a little you further along. Than I'm me. a little bit further than you. Just a tinge. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so, a lot of, a lot of tinge. I'm a little bit further. A lot of bits. You know what I mean? <laughs> a you gotta, lot of bits. For those who don't, I don't even know if anybody knows how old I am. Mean, you, you they knew when it was your birthday. Everybody was no, trying to get that fifty bucks. No. Yo. Everybody was trying to get that 50 bucks, and I was here for it. Everybody was trying to get that 50 bucks. And I was here for it. And nobody, I think one person got it. I was, like, giving all kinds of hints. And yeah, because the first person was the one that you were going to give it to. That was the deal. Uh-huh. You weren't giving unlimited $50. Uh-huh. So I, my, nice. my thing is like this, I mean, so what's been going on with the week, man? What's, what's really been going on with you, Zanzi? I mean, what's oh my gosh. What's, what's been going on? What's I mean, been we going stayed on? busy. You stayed busy. Yes. There was a lot going on. Yeah, it was it was it was a bit pretty weirdly busy um, busy week for me. Just had some committee stuff come up, some board of directors. Oh, stuff. oh Jesus! Oh, oh my gosh! Hey, baby. Oh, we, we oh. got we got oh. Bonnie Parker just yes, came up. Yes, we do. Oh, 
looking all yes, cute yes. too. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Let's go. Join the festivities. Let's go. Hi. How are you? Oh, she got oh. the tequila. Uh -oh. oh, it's one of those nights. Oh. One of those. Yeah, we live. We live. We live. We live. Yes. We live. we live in New London. We live all over New London right now. Oh, nice. All Love over that. New London. Love that. All over. Love you know what I'm saying? Yes. No protection. We all oh over. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Yes. Okay. How you guys What's doing? up? What's up? Listen. All my New London people, man, what's going on? I, I want to talk. I want to talk. You know, football season is coming up. If you haven't started practicing football yet for the new season, you guys are late. Yeah, I was just you know. thinking that too. I was like, you know what, football is coming up. Yeah. So that's two months. Nice. Two months is football season. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. crazy. Uh, yeah, it's, August. It felt right? like August. it just started. It felt Can like it just ended. Only? July. I can't believe we're it's almost, almost in June. June. Yes, yeah, that's kind of crazy. Like, that's, crazy. that's it. That's just yeah, kind of nuts. Yeah, August. Yeah. Was not Big shout out to Bunny. Big shout out to Bunny. She Dave. came in here with all kinds of flavors, smelling all fruit food and everything. Yeah, I just got back from Smelt the whole lot. room up and everything. I just got back from I'm Arizona. like, dang. I love me. <laughs> I love, love me in Arizona. Big shout out to Bunny. Big shout out to Rhode Island coming up in the building. Yeah, you know, coming in hot. Bunny Parker. Yeah, yeah. Up in the building. You know Where's she going? Yo, New London, man. What's going on in New London? Just a tiny bit. New what London, News Please London. I call New London News London. You know what I'm saying? Because when you're in New London, you got a, there's a lot of news going on in London. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Work. So, I got that Biggie Smalls in the background, man. I feel like playing number Biggie tonight. That's what uh, I feel yeah. like. It's about so to be Gemini. What are we talking about today? So, listen, well, we're going we gonna to go to the mix a little bit. We're going to let, gonna let okay. Bonnie get all acclimated. Yeah. And then we're going to come back and we're going to talk about it, man. I think we're talking about tonight, we're talking about interracial relationships. Oh, yes, we are. We're talking yes. about inter we are. interracial about relationships. Dr. <laughs> J, house call. We're about to get in there. We're making house calls right now. So tune in. You have to tune in. Make sure you come back and you listen to what we're talking about tonight. Let's go. I appreciate y'all checking in. She's like, excuse me. Hi. Uh, hi. How are you? All right, coming in, doing all the things. Bonnie! Well, I gotta get in the friggin' yeah. picture. Or do you wanna switch headphones? You don't. No. Right there, right there, right there. There we go. But you gotta move this. We lie. Out of the way. Okay, One thing. Uh, I still rock my stuff. What's that? Like my cup. Bunny me in the crib. So Yo. I drank tequila three days straight in Arizona. I rode a horse named Tequila. Y'all see you out there. Oh my God, I'm chilling. Chill. Like, I was chilling. I'm part of the equestrian. Y'all see out there. What the fuck I'm was she riding the horses for? You have a cup? Uh, that little Dixie cup back there. Yeah. I'm like, yo, she was out there riding the horses. Yup. You know what I'm saying? Listen, listen, if you can ride a horse, you can ride just about anything. And I did it well. <laughs> I was like a professional. I was scared at first. Was you up in there like this? <laughs> yep. I was like, I got all. Was you got them, them. You know they do the they do the two step joint yeah. too. Oh, I was yeah. like a professional yeah. after, after that. I like passed somebody and <laughs> everything. Really? That was like I I did when I was younger, but mm. I don't really remember. Never. Mm -hmm. Never. Got the tequila. Sound of our people. It's almost Gemini clock. Gemini season, Biggie. I forgot I gotta play DJ too. <laughs> You know, we talking about interracial relationships. I saw that. Let's go. Bonnie, what's going on, y'all? You know we didn't changed over and everything. The so whole what? the whole summer and shit is just. Let me guess, you guys are flip. doing doing come in, doing salary now. No. Oh, okay. I wish we were doing fucking salary. You know what? Yeah. Right. <laughs> you know what? I talked to some friends the other day. They're seven hundred a week. To do the same thing. Yeah. Is that where you're going? No. Oh, athlete. For everything you sent, whether it was on or not, you get a hundred percent on top of that. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. I'm like, oh shit. Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Oh yeah, I'm all out. He probably do me swell. So yeah, I work for True True Green Lawn Care now. It's kinda scary. What about my honey Mary? That's what that's coming up over here. What? Wiley! I like haven't stopped all day. Oh, 
Espresso martini. Hit this shit clean like this.
Biggie, also known as the known appetite. Yo, Nick Ari, you want problem? Nick, the interracial relationships, Nick, what up? interracial relationships. I want to know y'all take on it. Y'all gotta let me know. What's y'all take on it? You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna give you all our takes in a minute when we come back on live on radio. So if you want to hear it loud and clear, man, 929WDUP.com. Let's talk about it, the 411. Let's go. Yo, you know what you gotta get? Bonnie up in the crib. Hey, Max. I always come back. Yo, it's been like two years. Nah, uh It was like no after two years. Two years. It's been two oh years since God. you've been up in this thing. Two years. I was literally driving here like, what was the last time? And I was like, two years. I remember what? They're like, what are you leaving in next year? And I was like, uh, stop giving CPR to dead situations. I was like, New Year's? That was New Year's. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh my god, my birthday's next month. I'm having a 90th birthday party at my house, so you guys are going. Uh, 
like a Biggie Smalls mix, man. Yes, I love Biggie. You know he is my favorite. I almost had my Biggie shirt today, too. Ain't, like, ain't oh, nothing man, like that would have been amazing. I went with the Pink Floyd. It was either that or something. <laughs> right. right, it's okay, it's okay. I'm not so mad So listen, it. Um, <laughs> we about to talk about it. Oh, God. You know what I mean? We about to talk about it, the 411. So what, what we talking about tonight is basically we talking about interracial relationships. We're going to just tap on this for a little bit. Not too crazy. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, how you feel about it? You know, how you really <laughs> feel about it? I mean, I, I I know from other people's perspectives how they feel about it, so I'm going to give other people's perspectives, and then I'm going to give you mine, and then we're going to go around the room a little bit and just see, you know, what y'all talking about. We're going to hear from everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so, I mean, but, but I, I just want to know how y'all feel about it, you know? I mean, I, me, myself, I don't, I mean, I, I'm, I'm like, listen, I don't care which way it go. I know, right? What difference? Don't be a jerk. It really doesn't. It really doesn't make a difference to me. You know, yeah. I, I go, I go all all waves, all positions. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I would love As you to have say that, like, maggots. why do we even have to like even talk <laughs> about it? What it, you know what I mean? Like, it's it is to be talked about, but why is it to be talked about? Because unfortunately, it's, it's still. Something I know. That that's about. the thing. That's the thing. Well, that's the well, thing. Listen, I, I think like right now you're seeing more like. White men with black women. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Good for them. Like, um, like, and I love bad that. Bo- black love, women. Too. Love that. Yes, and yeah, I, be I, a bearded, tatted up white boy named Jared or something. And was... I remember, like back in the '90s when that was a thing, like, like black men would be mad. Like they would get yes. mad over it. And that's the thing Tell now, me, right? Tell that's, me that's not. That's what's happening now. Ugh. The black women are mad because the black men are going with white yeah. girls. That ain't nothing new, though. I mean, come on. That's not I mean, anything that was, though. I mean, listen. I get, I can see how, but I don't know. Everybody mad at everybody, so like, everyone <laughs> is. Every, reason, hence, why this is even a conversation. All right, here we are, and that's the end of that. <laughs> see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. Though. All, all no, I'm saying no, is, really. like, listen. I, I mean, I, I remember I, I come from the day when it was just, you know, I was in high school and it, it was just shunned uh-huh. back in high school. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. It was like, oh my God, what are they doing? Yeah. But also, if it's the forbidden fruit, then it's the more... Yeah, forbidden forbidden fruits make the best jams. Yes, there you go. Um, (laughs) Make the best jam, no peanut butter. I'm Portuguese, so I mean, mean, a lot of people in my family was... I mean, I'm the only one that dates uh, outside of my race, so, you know, that was interesting. So that's what I'm saying. From your perspective, coming from a family like Mm -hmm. that, how do do they feel about that situation? I mean... I mean, it was definitely ruffling feathers at first, but I mean, I was a stranger to ruffling many of their feathers, so I was the black sheep. You was a, a feather ruffler. Yeah, but, um, <laughs> you know, I mean, I don't think it's necessarily, like, a racist thing. It's just more of, like, a, you know, I, I don't I don't understand it, but, I mean, I, can, I uh-huh. guess when I think about it from their perspective, like, keeping th- things similar, what I don't know, but yeah, they no. got over it as they have two kids now. So. Well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> when you having, you know, mm-hmm. interracial kids, mm-hmm. you, you have to... 
did you go through any scrutiny for that through the family or I know I understand like Portuguese family mm-hmm. is a real yeah, tight, very very mm-hmm. tight like, in that almost, culture, almost almost like, almost like the tightest yeah. culture out yes. there. I mm-hmm. thought I thought Spanish was the mm-hmm. tightest culture, no, no, no. but listen, Porter, I mean Portuguese, Portuguese is like one of the tightest mm-hmm. for sure. Like, and for the real. crazy thing is, like my kids are Cape Verdean, mm-hmm. and Cape Verdean is literally like black and Portuguese, so right. it makes no sense. It's just so it's literally so, they're just not Portuguese. But once I had kids, I mean, I mean, I don't really. It know, just they went got crazy. over it. They were fine. It just went crazy at that point. Yeah. It, it, listen, I, I think they got over it because they're not racist. They just really would have preferred. Yeah, like, they're probably just, like, their that preference. Thing I mean, right, right. I because mean, those who are why, racist though. never get over it. Yeah, no. And they that's how you know mm-hmm. the difference there, mm-hmm. right? Like that's my that's that's what I would have to say about that. But but that's the whole thing when you go when you go into the whole. Like okay, now you're having kids on the other side, and now you're having kids on that's like just way mixed kids, and mm-hmm. and then so that's what I'm saying. Like, like 15 to 20 years ago, like I, I go even 30 years ago, it wasn't even like in the in nobody's vicinity. Like mm-hmm. if you if you if you like went across your race, mm-hmm. it was just looked at like oh, you're yeah, trash. Man. You're trash on either well, um, I mean, from either what side. He, what is they doing? It um, was, what is this? I could tell you that my very f- first serious boyfriend, <clears throat> if you know what I mean, uh, was Jamaican, <laughs> and that he was, was back in the 90s. Crazy too, wasn't and he? That was back in the Jamaican. 90s. And that was back Booyah in the 90s. Shot. And that was back in the 90s. Mm-hmm. So I remember it being a very weird thing. But also, my two little sisters are half black. Mm. And at that point, they were, uh, Jackie was probably four, and Arabia was probably like one-ish. And they were biracial. So I think it was like just something that, you know, like, it was just just there. It was around. Yeah, Yeah, for sure. Clearly, like, my mom was. Mm-hmm. You know, into it as, as well. <laughs> she's like, um, <laughs> she was all about the whole thing. <laughs> all about the dark skin. Um, I definitely noticed more. I mean, growing, uh, raising um, biracial kids is definitely. That's, it's that's a different perspective right because I mean, even mm-hmm. even just not being a fifteen or thirteen year old in this day and age, anyway. Yeah. Never mind from a perspective mm-hmm. that I I'm not familiar with, but I definitely see there's. I mean, my kids go to. a predominantly you know white school mm-hmm. and it's definitely difficult so not they, because of the kids so do they get they do they get issues do they have issues there with that um you know? not with any kids but with like Teacher. adults really? which is crazy wow. that's, that's i think that's because of adults mm-hmm. of the past like for for when like for a teacher or a, a higher up person for the for the white kids to recognize racism that's wild Mm. Like for, cause I mean, the, most of the time they don't even, they don't even, they can't tell or like, it's different. Cause when, you know, you're in that perspective, like you are looking for things that are, that's normal to you. Mm-hmm. But when they're like, wait a minute, hold up. Why are you treating her differently? Like mm-hmm. they're just like out here just blatantly doing it, which mm-hmm. awesome. You guys are teachers. Mm-hmm. So I don't get it, but, but, but I build my, I build mine tough, you know, tough and strong. So they shake the, they shake it off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's still and annoying. They are gorgeous, by the way. Oh, yes, they are. Inside, sure. just as they are outside. They're pretty. They are very nice on the eyes. Very nice on the eyes. Yes, they are. That's what I'm saying. That's the problem. Yeah. Right? They have that problem yeah. in school because they're nice on the eyes. Mm-hmm. They thicker than other everybody yeah. else, mm-hmm. oh, and it's my like it's crazy. Just got in trouble, dress coded, you know and all that because yeah. she was wearing something that. I don't know, maybe half my everybody that goes in there is where every crop every shirt's a crop top now anywhere. I'm like, yeah, where's the rest of it? Where's hey, the rest hey, of the I shirt? feel attacked here. But she gets <laughs> targeted. Cause I mean Yeah, that's not where, yeah. yeah. I was the same way. Yeah. Like built different. Yeah. Like it's a so bag good. of bones over here wearing the same outfit as you. Right. It doesn't and, hit, it, and it hit the, the same. All is the does same. Not hit, yeah. It does not hit good. the same. It hits but, different. Mm-hmm. But I mean it's it's definitely definitely, you know, I say jerks don't they don't go away, they just grow up. So mm. it's like, my kids are never gonna not, even if they didn't, they were growing up not experiencing this, mm. they were going, they're going to at some point. Oh, at some point. So Always. it's inevitable. So yeah. here you go, this so, is it. Like, I'm gonna tell you like this, I, I, so I feel like, so I feel like like 10 years from now, there's really, no, matter of fact, I'll, I'll say like maybe 20 years, 20 to 25 years from now, everything, everybody is gonna be so mixed it's going to be crazy because everybody there's there's no boundaries now mm-hmm. because everybody well, everything, goes to all those lines I mean it's learned. like Puerto <laughs> Rican goes to Japanese um, Japanese mm-hmm. goes to black um, black goes to white I mean uh, it's just 
there's going to be there's I don't think there's going to be any purebred in about twenty to thirty years. From any? Now. I mean, there will be some. I don't know I about the men. I don't know about none, but I think I don't it, know. I, I don't I pray know. for the day where it just becomes like something that's not even worth taking a second glance at. Because I can tell you again, like there's no need just, to right now. Right there, but, but like but what about our fault though? No, right. And when I go into like certain places, like I, I, I was seeing somebody a couple of years ago, black guy. We were in Georgia together, and we went out to eat, and like you just see all the like it wasn't it was like not the you know Atlanta Georgia. Yeah. It was mm-hmm. like the yeah. white parts of Georgia. Okay. He was Katie in like the co- he was in the like co- um, police academy out there. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it just I could. Feel the stares. Mm-hmm. It was so strange. Oh, Those who hate that. I yeah, hate but like, dare to be different. At that oh. point, dare to be different. Why? I was like, why? Oh. No, I was yeah, fine. Yeah. I was completely. So, so you feel you get the like, stares? Why though? Do you feel you get the stares from the older people or the yes. younger? The older. The older, right? Older. Oh. I don't know, but I don't, with me, I don't know what they're looking at. Like, you look at me, I'm tatted up, hair all split dyed. You're and like, which like, one is it? What like, is oh, it God, that, that's doing it for you? Which, I don't even notice it, it anymore. Anyway. that's doing it for you? Yo, yo, the, you're, you're basically... Yo, money is basically coming at you, but like, listen, you can have either way. Yeah, I have no idea why you're mad. I'm so sorry. Exactly. You can have that that crazy side, or you can get this gentle side. Which yes, one? I you am got? a Gemini. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's it, right there. Gemini clock. You got oh, to have it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so my 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 take on it is basically like, you know, I, I mean, I have interracial kids, you know, from from thirty years ago. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm I'm already there already. I'm I'm like, and I and I, we're gonna go back to when I was in high school. When I was a junior in high school, you know what I'm saying. So I I, I I basically back. there was this there was this female. This was back okay? in the seventies. So you know, there's not. <laughs> he had bell bottoms on. <laughs> he had the bell bottoms on. They're not yeah. that further along. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah. Yeah. Women were yeah. dying to get them out them bell bottoms. Yeah, dying to get them out them tight the them tight joints and bell bottoms. They had Saturday Night Fever for real. Yeah. Oh, so, anyways, so, <laughs> so, so check it up. There was this girl in school, right? You know, for me, I there was only I, I think the school, the high school I was in. I think there was maybe only like, maybe at the most probably thirty six black people in the in the whole entire high school. All right. Okay, so out of a class of, I don't know. Like I'm, I'm talking about all four grades. Oh, I'm wow. about all four Collectively. grades. Collectively, thirty six to fifty tops mm-hmm. of minorities. Mm-hmm. Not not counting Japanese and Spanish. Mm-hmm. Back then it was just, I, I don't even remember seeing Spanish that much back in the day. When I was, you know, when I, I feel was like when I was growing up, everybody everybody that was minority just grouped together, which yeah. was fine. <laughs> like, so, yeah, that's how it was. I sat there. But that's how it was. Everybody <laughs> that was minority grouped together, <laughs> and they they came they came together mm-hmm. as one, like mm-hmm. Voltron. Mm-hmm. So, there was this girl, you know, she was, she was six feet tall. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see. Long drink, of, long yeah. drink of water. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. Got, got more legs than a ball. Clearing my throat yeah. there for a whole yeah, second. Yeah, like so, so she was six feet tall. You know what I mean? She, you no, know, nobody. Yo, know, you figure. Yo, know, listen. Back in the day, there wasn't enough vitamins in the food. Oh my god. You know what I'm saying? So there was a lot of short dudes back then. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what was his name? I wish I was a yeah. little bit taller. I yeah. wish I was a baller. I wish I had a beard and a cane. I would call them. That was, I wish I had a rabbit yeah. in a hat with a hat. Six foot I baller. wish I was like six foot nine. <laughs> so I'm dying. So, Love that. So that's what I'm saying. So nobody wanted to mess with this girl. And, and like, I used to be, in the, I used to be in the hallway, <laughs> and I used to see Pardon. this girl, and she used to come down the hall. I mean, she was voluptuous. <laughs> She was voluptuous, she was voluptuously top heavy, and very tall. You know what I'm saying? Very <laughs> top heavy. So I was always a guy that to be like, damn. Shawty. You know what I mean? I Not Shawty. Shawty, but, she, Shawty, but Shawty. listen. Shawty. She was, yeah. So, Shawty. so she was a white girl. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So back then it was That's like, different. was she into swimming and stuff? Was no, she Polish I don't know what she did, but she could have been a model. Girls. To me, she could have been a model, <laughs> mm-hmm. but nobody would mess with her. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Nobody. <laughs> I thought she was beautiful, like, but but the thing is, these guys were yeah, short. That's intim- these that's guys were short, but yeah. it's not an intimidation. You know what I'm saying? So when a yeah. guy come up to a yeah. girl and she's like six it. one, and you're like <laughs> five six, hey, Miss Lady. you're like, you, you know, you, you gotta you, have money. You feel like you ain't even got that shot. You ain't no, got no shot. I feel like 
I mean, everybody should shoot their shot. Like, but let's be realistic. No, come on. There's some people they're not gonna do it. They're no, not there yet. No, no. I didn't they're listen. Not there I used to be they're the I'm five three right yeah. now. So I, no, five three. I was the tall girl. Before. Shorty. I was the tall girl at one point. Really? I at one point. Yeah, yes, one point. in like fourth grade. <laughs> That's why I was like, yo, uh, 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 where did it I got this complex and then I never grew. Uh, uh, and I was like, pick on somebody grow. old side. Uh. And then I just never grew. But yeah. So <laughs> I've always been the tallest one in the class. So I never. <laughs> so ever, so long always. story short, let's let's get back to this. So long story short, <laughs> this girl, so she was the yeah, tallest right. girl in the school basically, and she used I used to always watch her go down the hall. And it was it was unique because you know, back in the day, they didn't make bras like they did today. Oh, my oh, gosh. You know what I'm saying? Are. So it was so, like one size fits most? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, it was the cotton satin ones at Walmart. They were, all modern, they were be- that had no beige, underwire. Beige and white yeah. joints. That's <laughs> all around. I know yes, which ones because, hello, if you haven't noticed. Yes, oh, my God. I know the ones. I know the ones. Got them thick straps Yo, on them. Yo, the 18 hour. I feel attacked. Yo. Oh, I don't want to hear any more of this story. <laughs> oh my god. Yo. We yo, always know Victoria's Secret yeah. joints. Never. <laughs> my titties skip past the joints. Let me tell you, I had that 18 hour Yo, that's what I'm saying. So, so listen, them joints oh was. God, you can see her coming so down the hallway. From a mile away. Thank you. The joints was bouncing right, coming down the hallway. I mean, she had rhythm. She had like, like a six-foot stride. I'm like, oh my god. I'm like, yo. Wait, were you tall then? Were you tall at this point? Yo, Shout listen, out to Shorty if she's listening, because you're probably stacked up looking I was great six, right now. I was six and one. I was like, I think I was like six one, maybe six six feet. I don't even. Something. And you didn't even. I was your six shot. something. Oh yeah. my god! I was tall yeah. enough. So I say. You were tall enough. I was tall enough. <laughs> but, I could have. I, I had a chance. But the thing, the way she walked, you know what I'm saying? Her, her, her uh, boobs would just be like bouncing Jugging all the way down the hallway, and, and I would just Jugging see them. I'm like, yo, this girl, this girl, damn, these, these dudes ain't seeing this. So long but the story thing short, is like, which baby mother is this of yours? None of them. Oh, okay, sorry. But the crazy thing about it is what <laughs> the parents. Yeah, listen. Those calls, those calls. Me and her was together. <laughs> me and her got together outside of like her parents knowing. Yeah. Outside my parents yeah. knowing, and we just we used to sneak around and stuff like that. And her like Climbing one day her window. parents found out. Oh God. Never saw yo, her again. Yeah. One it? day her parents that found out, that and, it, and that was the end of that. Damn. Never, yeah. never saw. Never saw. That was the end of that. I never like seen those joints been, jiggle again. Yeah, like you wait, she like wait, she wasn't walking down the hallway no more. You could have been that first baby mama. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, listen. She's probably gorgeous now. I, listen, I got another story for you. Oh god, here we go. Here we go. Doctor J House Call. I've you know, heard them all. I got so, another story. Short story. I, you might have heard of this one. You might have heard of this one. I, I heard. I got this. another one. I got another one. Another so, one. So listen, I used to date this girl. You know, she was. This is back in high school again. We're going back to high school. Now, this is a predominant. What year did you graduate? This is a, no, we ain't going to go there. Ah! <laughs> I said I'm going to say 79. Not, no, no, not, not 80, 80, no, 84. 84. <laughs> yeah, on point? Yeah, yeah. I'm on point? No. Well, I would have uh, been three. No, you so. I wasn't even <laughs> four? <laughs> you three? I wasn't even born yet. Oh, my. Yo, chill. I was three. Yo, chill. So chill. maybe, maybe late Yo, 80s. I was being cooked. <laughs> yeah. Yo, All right, I got a, I got a vision now. Okay, cool. Yo, All right, continue yeah, with your story. Yeah, Further so along. listen. So, so there was a neighborhood up the street from my house. It was called Birdland. So in Birdland, it, not not from not the birds you thinking about, like, but in Birdland, <laughs> it was like the rich people. It was the rich white right, people. All right, all right. Rich white right people. They okay. fly high. Okay, so I was going out with this girl. She was on the soccer team. Now, now, I, I hate that you're listening. She might be listening. I don't know. She might catch this, but shout out to her. Whatever, she probably has whatever. no shout legs. Out to her. Let's go. Shout out to her. Yeah, shout you out know? to her. You know what I'm saying? So, so I was dating this girl, and she was on the soccer team. You know, so she's on the soccer team. She's athletic, thighs, everything. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Butt stacked up. Yo, butt stacked up. Yeah. But the white boys didn't like it. Yep. Because the white boys like, oh, that's too much for me. Just don't get it. But I can't yeah. deal with that. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, but, <laughs> but all the, all the, all the brothers, being honest. all the brothers was like, yo, <laughs> what's up? I called it. It's kind of thick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, 
I got with this girl. And you know, this one, this one, um, this one, R. Kelly was really hitting hard at that point. You know what I'm saying? So, we, I, I, you know, I, I, I went after all these songs and playing all these songs. So, long story short, long story short, and short story shorter, the parents took this girl and moved out of the, out of Connecticut and went all the way to California. For what reason? There's no black dudes out in California. <laughs> you don't know like what she likes. Yes. Get the heck out. Junior of year. Oh my Moved god. Moved her out. Was like, oh no, we're not doing this. They're like, enough, Rebecca. We're there was only over. thirty of them in there, and you had to. Oh, it's not Rebecca. It's Becca. Becca. Like, like, it's like we're Becca. moving. Let's go, Becca. Becca. Like we're moving. We're moving. Wow. That's oh my took, god. Took the whole family. Yeah. Bounced out. Cleaned across the United States of America. They were renting the house. To get away from the black man. Oh, oh my second God. baby mama. I guarantee you she has Here no kids. Huh? No. I guarantee you. I don't think she has no kids right now. Oh, good for her. But that would have been an awesome plot twist if she ended up having no kids. Right, like, right, oh, where? Like awesome oh, where? Are you going to hate your but, grandbaby? But that's how it was back in the day. Yep. Yeah. So that's that, that's Terrible. why I like to t talk about this this conversation about interracial relationships. Is because back when I was in this high school and everything, it, it was just shunned. And it just wasn't happening. Like, parents are just, I mean, I had two situations like that with a, I had, I had another situation like that where the girl was half black and half white. And they still did that. And they still was like, oh, you know what? We got to be out. Uh -huh. He's too black. Oh, wow. my God. And that's terrible, though. Like, <laughs> yeah, to, that's yeah. terrible, though. To, like, like, he's too black. For any reason, <laughs> be like, damn. Like, two people just, they found out about me and just move aired up that's terrible like you know for you to feel like and be like why me I know. but just think about how yeah. lame those people are on the inside like sorry for you being lame wrong. on the inside a little more than lame i know but we're on the radio we're on the radio ridiculous on the inside ridiculous that's what i tell my so, kids i'm like yo if that's what they go for like if that's what they say in an argument right. when they bring that up they literally have nothing else to say to they're you they're literally ridiculous I'm period like, oh. but it's crazy how it is like that that's how it used to be yeah. like that but it's like Crazy. Yeah, but it's very on purpose. Like, ra all have, these have race wars will end. Zanti, have you ever been in a situation like that? I mean, any situation, like any racial situation, just like. No, no so, no. How do you feel about the whole situation? How do you feel about it? I mean, I, I think it's clear that I feel like it's very unfortunate that this is even a conversation we have to mm. have. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, like, I was raised in the Bronx, so it was never a thing for me. I am. BX, P Puerto Ricans yeah. love black dudes. Yeah. <laughs> they love yes, it. Yes, we do. Um, How you say my love is no, Spanish? <laughs> and as I stated, my mom does have, you know, biracial uh, kids who are my half-sisters. Mm -hmm. So it's something that I was raised around, so I never thought twice about it, you know? Mm -hmm. And the, the truth of the matter is, being in the Bronx and having those like biracial relationships growing up, I never got the stares and things like that. It's yeah. not until yeah. my older years. And then, of course, I was with my daughter's father, who is also full Puerto Rican. So the odds that, of that happening, though. Right, you were like, right. Oh, who would have saw right. that coming? Who would have thought? Mm. <laughs> okay. It was a whole thing, right? Okay. But he is a darker-skinned um, Puerto Rican, and mm. I am a lighter-skinned Puerto Rican. Mm. So, okay. you know, so there is, like, some kind of a, a little bit of a difference there. And we, he did have two sons. Like, my son is light-skinned, mm. and his sons, one were dark-skinned and one was light-skinned because mm. his ex-wife was light, like, like me, but she was full Puerto Rican, too. Uh -huh. Um, so we did sometimes, you know, like you could tell, especially when we moved to the town, when we bought a house in the town, that's like predominant. You're like, oh, here goes the neighborhood. Yeah. Here, here we go. Right. The neighborhood. Yeah. I, like, I, I will be on the front something. lawn with Coronas tomorrow. That's it. Right. With so Coronas and, and cars jumping around on the back percent. wheels. Yeah, so growing <laughs> up, not so much. But even that, even honestly, even with my ex-husband all those years, I didn't feel it that much, that mm. much, until, like, after the you know I broke up with him and started dating and you know that that time in Georgia was different. Oh, that was all it was just different. the little Bible Belt. I had is a lot never different. really felt mm. felt, in felt Georgia, like that. Yeah, that's different. Puerto Rican, that was, Puerto Rican, being Puerto Rican. First no, of all, they probably no, don't no, even no, know the, what that the, is. The biracial like difference, like so relationship, like, uh, friction. I, yes. Yeah, I didn't feel the stares the way I felt it in that moment ever mm -hmm. in my past. Mm -hmm. I felt some. It's also like you gotta think of your perspective too. Two years ago. So it's still that hard. That, yeah. That's the two years oh, I go. I'm Georgia. Yeah. Yeah. Georgia. Yeah. yeah. I, it's still like that in Alabama. And we actually went. Also, we went to um, uh, Kentucky. I want to say it is. Um, 
Yeah, Kansas City. That's Kentucky, right? Uh-huh. There's a two. There's two. Like Kansas, Missouri, Kansas City. Missouri, Kansas. like that area right there. Ozarks. We Missouri. went there, and I also kind of felt it, but in I felt it mostly in Georgia. It was weird, the weirdest thing. And I mm-hmm. and again, just growing up, all this I have some things with with my ex husband, but like not mm-hmm. like that. And I was like, that's so unfortunate. And thank God I don't live here. Yeah, I think that's the biggest. I think I the biggest struggle with like me, I I didn't care about like either getting looked at because I mean dare to be different it's called dare for a reason so Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. it's more of not it's more of seeing it from the other the person that you're with's perspective and and that they have a different experience than than I do like it doesn't matter I I mean I've dated plenty but like it it doesn't matter they're having everybody's having a completely different experience than than Mm -hmm. you are so that to me is the biggest challenge like like how somebody just up and left because right, of you like right. that would kill that like would break parents, my heart for you like the parents yeah. are so into yeah, this like, like oh my god mm-hmm. i can't have my daughter out here doing yeah. this no it's that's it's crazy terrible. like you know what i mean but that that was like, the i feel like that was the biggest yo, struggle yo, of that yo, yo, yo the crazy thing is both of these females went to california that's like they crazy, moved yeah. the clean furthest and, away and like that you could ever coming, move. <laughs> the way the up and coming black people are. They made it, yeah, they made it <laughs> as far crazy. as you can make it. That's crazy. Stuff. Without going out to the United States of America. But you know, like some. You're gonna go out there and you're gonna get a surfer white boy named Conrad, and that's just it. <laughs> Conrad, Conrad, not Tyler. Conrad. Conrad. Tanner. <laughs> not Tanner. I love that. There you go. There you go. <laughs> that's great. Her Conrad. Name, her name was Bryn. No, I mean honestly, on my side of it, like I felt good just. You know, like I'm, I'm almost positive the look was like, what are you doing with him? Mm. And for me, I was like, nope, this is my man. Like he's sitting next to me. This is what I'm doing. Right? No stranger and it made me feathers. feel like a little bit empowered. Like I don't right. care. Yeah, like you know nobody's looking I mean? at like, somebody who's nothing. And right. made me right. like just show a little extra affection because of it. You know what I mean? Right. Like no, fuck yeah. you. Yeah. You know right. what I mean? What, what was that? <laughs> oh, put the money in the bag. Put the money in the bag. That bag is real. Put that money in the bag. Um, Sorry, I get so passionate. Put that, oh, that's passion. Oh, no, what was that's, that? What that's was passion. the story that passion. they were? Oh, yeah. Wicked saved the last dance when they were on the train and that lady was all oh, upset. My, yes. And she was like, yes. oh, work with me. Yes. I knew I was going to have mixed kids. Oh, oh, save the last dance. I knew it. Favorite. Okay. Favorite so, movie. So moving on. I already knew it from so that Ashley, moment. So, Ashley, how you feel about this situation? How, how you I feel mean, about it? I, mean, I, mean, you, you, I know you've been talking about it, but how you really you feel about it? I mean, you, you, you're you experiencing it. You're right in it, just like yeah. me. I'm in it, too. I mean, I mean everybody, I think everybody, I mean, we're literally I think every it, one dealing in, with the result of, of yeah. being in an interracial I think one of um, every three people are in it. Yeah, I mean, Everyone. it is what it is. I mean, you can't change, I mean, it is unfortunate and it's stupid, but I mean, you can only just like, just whatever they teach the school, if even if it's not correct, like you mm. teach your kids at home. Like I can't yeah. shield my kids from Always this, so it's like this is what we're dealing with. Yeah, it's ridiculous, but <laughs> we we talk about it. Like, yeah. and you know, I feel like yeah. I feel I don't know. I feel like it's made me my perspective, and I'm. I mean, I've always been an open-minded person anyway, but it's definitely the older I get, the older my kids get, the situations they're they're in, and how other people deal with it. It's all new. Like. You know, it's just, it's a different perspective of it. Mm. It was, it's different from being the girl getting the looks because you're with the, you know, outside of your race. Mm. It's now someone's looking at my kid like that. So it's yeah, different. That's so but it's like, oh, hey, I, my yeah. actions do matter. Yeah. <laughs> but like, we, so I mean, I, but I mean, it, it is what it is. Yeah. Dare to be different. Yeah. My kids are beautiful. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Predominantly because of me, but whatever. Well, that's what I'm saying. So, uh, <laughs> Predominantly. You already know. You already know. They might have the good color. They might have the good color. They, have they say Puerto Ricans are the perfect specimen. You know? So you, no, they are. They, they say they're abs- perfect. They absolutely are. My daughter, though, she has my skin. She's tone. like my daughter is the no. perfect specimen. <laughs> she absolutely is. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Yeah, she is. <laughs> She's like um, uh, but she tans in the summertime. I do crazy. put some. Yo, so nice. Yeah. She does not burn. Oh, she, she got that. She got that big Oh my though. god, she is such. She's a melanin. Like she's <laughs> melanin. Like she goes in the summertime, and when you, you don't see get dark, like, for real. I do get dark, but I will burn. She just doesn't. I'm not tan. It's mm. different. It's mm. just a different kind of a tan. I can tan. I got to do the thing to tan. Like I got to mm. do the thing. Mm-hmm. She just goes out there, and she just like the sun loves that girl. Mm. By the end, of my it, kid will put sunscreen oh. on and hide from the sun and have the illest tan lines. I'll lay out there four hours <laughs> straight <laughs> like this. <laughs> Nothing. Well, listen, we about to go back into the mix, man. We about to come back into the mix, and we we we'll back, man. We back to talk about this some more. Close it up a little bit. Man. We're at the peak of 
people online. Nobody is commenting. What is this? Only Nick. Come on. Guys, come on. Anybody got something to say? Oh my god, you know what's funny? Nick. Nothing. Listen, white people will white uh -huh. people listen, white people Nick is hilarious. White though. people know fuck can identify five hundred different dog breeds but get their two black co workers mixed up. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> 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 Get it? I'm headed, then split it in two. Yeah, 
sweaty, and I ain't thirsty or nothing. But when I see something blue, I go hard for the one that hit my sound. I'ma take you out to eat and kill any misconception that you got a mob deep. Throw that bark in your head, and it's about time, cause if you like me, then what you forget is bump heads every day. I never got the chance, best of those who wait. Once I get up in the pants, ain't no one with your hands. I'm supposed to be with him, but it changed those plans. Not anything you got to do, not just you. Must be out of monkey ass mind, how the hell he get Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Gemini vibe. Put some Remy Ma on there. Good mix. You know what I mean? You got to, man. Yeah, listen, I got some people that want to call in and talk to this doctor right now, man. All right, let's try it. Let's do it. See a bedside manna. I'm, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to hear what's going on, man. What's going on out there? Do they have a fever? Does anybody have jungle fever? have jungle fever? I'm about to take this right now. I'm about to take this right now. Hello, caller. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Hello, 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 call. call. Hello, caller. Hello, caller. Is it the love doctor? Oh, yes. oh, can I, I can hear you, man. What's going on? I got a few questions. So, uh, when you talk about interracial couples, does that mean anything? Because I like my island female, man. That's, that's, my, that's my catch. Man. The, the island, island, the island girl. Yeah. I, I yeah. What's your yeah. nationality? What's yeah. your nationality? Yeah, they, they know how to take care of you. I like it. I like it. I like it. So what's your nationality? Oh, I'm native to half mud. Oh, nice. Yo, you hate it. You hate it. Yo, you half mud. Well, you're born on the rest. What are the mixtures, please? No, I was born in London. I'm from the London. Okay, New London. London in the house. New London. New London. Green to go. Yo, can you tell us a little bit about why you on? Well, we got you on the phone call right now. Can you tell us a little bit about that green and gold, man? What does that green and gold really stand for? Ooh, listen. Uh. It's, it's, it's not. It's not even. It's not even like something. It's different, man. You gotta. It's a. It's a. It's a mentality. You bleed okay. it. You bleed the green and gold. Like no matter where I go, even though I'm not in New London no more, and I'm and I'm somewhere else. I do that oh. too. <laughs> I, like I was like, ball, I, I found people that like, oh, you from the London? Oh, so and so's from there. Oh, 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 did you know? Did you know Jordan Reed? Do, do you know Chris Dunn? Yeah. You know Roger Davis? I'm like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shout, yeah. Out Shout out to all of them. Shout out to all of them. Shout out to all of them. Roger Davis is Roger Davis still playing baseball? Roger retired two years ago. Okay, so but he still is. He's in the league for a minute. Yeah, he played 14 years. That's yeah, a, that's oh, wow. a he, went, he did his thing. 
Can't be mad at that. You know what I'm saying? Can't be mad well, at that. One thing is, it's, it's, a, it's a pride thing. No matter where you go, you're going to find somewhere from the London. And, and it's a different thing. I can see somebody over in Cali be like, give him a certain head nod. That's, that's in the London nod. <laughs> I know that. Oh, no, I know okay. that nod. Yeah, London nod. I was just in Arizona, and I had an I Uber driver from Rhode Island. And I'm like, how often? I, every time I go somewhere, I'm like, yo, I'm going to see someone or meet someone from Rhode Island, I swear. And it was yeah. like, we didn't. And the lady was like, we were like, hi, how are you? And she was like, where are you from? <laughs> and I was like, Rhode Island. She's like, oh, my God, you're from Providence, born and raised. <laughs> so oh. funny. That's great. So I you like that. that island. So you like that island flow. You like that island flow then. Because the, the, these American chicks, man, they just, they, they want to be, they want to be so masculine and, yep. and dominant because they believe this. They believe this. They can't run the household okay. without being masculine. You can still have. You can still hold the household. You still can. As not being masculine, you can still mm -hmm. be the woman of the house and not be masculine. Right, but the right. The females, they were raised different. They were yeah, raised culture. Different. Yeah, people and are definitely raised different. I'm not yeah. saying I say jump and you jump, but I'm like, hey, listen, we can't do this this weekend. We doing this this weekend, mm -hmm. and they mm -hmm. follow behind. It's, it's a different flow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's always a different flow. Yeah, that's definitely a Western a culture flow. thing. It, it, you know what? It, it, I feel like I feel like people, like anybody from a different Western culture is is so much more relaxed and laid back and like you know what? Okay, if that's what it is, all right, let's do that. Then. Yeah, a little you know, more they're submissive. more submissive. Like there's more, more submissive. Yes, yeah, like, like certain roles, yeah. not like it's like a you know. A Listen, I love submissive. Thing, but, but no, just like there's certain things that you. And what that also does <laughs> is. When she's so submissive to you, all of a sudden when she come up with something like, listen, babe, I think I have a great idea for doing this. She was like, what's wrong with it? You're okay, like, let's you're like sweet. Let's go. Yes. It's not like a fight every day. It's not an argument. It's uh -huh. not a debate. It's like, all right, uh -huh. okay, let's, let's, let's try your side because it, it's my work. Uh -huh. Yeah, right. Yeah. I understand. Just being an open mind in, in a relationship is kind of amazing. I can yeah. tell you that for sure. Or trusting your partner too. Like, don't be with like. I mean, oh, we have you gotta be with a, you gotta have to be with somebody that you're like. You know, I trust their judgment. Yes, I respect their judgment. I cannot be with somebody I don't trust a hundred percent because that's the thing. I want to be able to say, even though I'm weary about this decision, I trust you and I trust your mind. If yeah. I don't trust you 100%, I'm going to be like, oh, And if it goes south, I'm blaming it on you. Yeah, <laughs> it's not going to go great. <laughs> <laughs> if it goes south, I'll be like, I was following you. <laughs> Sorry. Right, right. Yo, man, where you, where you from, man? Where you from, man? London. You still there? What's up? What's up? Yo, where you from, man? Where you from, Carla? Oh, from New London. Okay, okay. New London. Right. Where you at now? The whalers. <laughs> you know what I mean? The whalers, man. You got to bleed that green and gold. If you represent from New London, you got to bleed that green and gold then. No, no matter where I go, they be like, oh, you're here now? I'd be like, yeah, I'm here. Okay. Because, listen, you so you're New London. You're going to bring that culture out here. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, that's what it is, man. New London, the thing about New London, man, when everybody come outside of New London, they, they respect you when you come outside of New London because they know you even know your sports. You know you know what you're talking about, and you know what you're doing, and you're a great coach, man. And, and that's what it is, because they, they know what the grind is, because it's a lifestyle. Mm, it's, it's a, a lifestyle. You, you, everybody it's still has heart out here. That's the thing. Right into it. Yeah. You can't teach you heart. You find that everywhere. No, you cannot you teach. teach heart. You cannot teach heart. You cannot yeah. teach that, that hustle of, like, sports yeah. and all that. You can't. Yeah. It's not something you can hold a, like, a yeah. workshop on. Mm. Right. Right. That's Yo, listen, that's man, we, we, we appreciate you. We appreciate you calling in, man, and represent. You got it or you don't got it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. We definitely appreciate you calling in, man. Yes, thank you. Appreciate you giving your um your little input on New London, man. Yo, ninety two nine WDUP. Let's talk about the four one one, man. Um, we still we still in the building, man. I appreciate you calling in, man. Like, like get back at us, man. But yeah, man. So. Yeah. That's it. That's a, that's a good perspective from the London. That's the London right there. Yeah, the, the, the whole cultural difference in how, how people are raised, whether it's male or female, I definitely find a big difference. Like, I mean, this country just alone, but, you know what I mean, it's more like country spread now rather than just, like, culture wise. Now it's affecting everyone. But that's what they wanted to do. Yeah. They were like, oh, you don't need a man. We'll take care of you. Well, see, here's the House thing. broke up. Like, it, it's just so, oh, my God. This is a conversation for another day. No, but it's on purpose, though. Everything we're talking about right now is on purpose from for people sure. above us. Absolutely. But but this is a conversation for more than just, like, five or ten minutes that we have left. left. But it's the fact that, you know, like, what, what, what's the... 
it's like I can be a very independent type of person. I can do my hustle. I can go out there. I can work. I can do all the things. But when I'm back at the house, I don't want to have to beat. I want to check all that at the door. And I feel like there's a lot of guys out there that don't understand that. They get a little like, yeah, I, I don't know about her. She's a little like headstrong and like independent. But they don't. They don't even give me the chance to show that I can check all that at the door. Mm -hmm. And it's of course they're you wrong, also right? have, They also have to be to a certain caliber as well. So Absolutely. You even do that. Checking out the door is everything. Yes. Checking out of the door Checking is the door everything. Is but, but there's so much that comes in with that. Like, for me personally, like, I have to be comfortable. I have to trust 100%. You know, like, I don't give everything and show everything yeah, until no. we're at that point. You no, know, you don't put all your eggs in one basket. Like, you don't show your whole hand. You can't. You got to invest in me, and then you But I think that's see, something that if that's right? what it's going to be, the vibe's going to be, you're not going to even have to deal with that. You're not going to have to figure true, that out, true. or it's Love just going to work. That. It's just going to work. But, 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 but the thing is, there's so many times where it doesn't, so you kind of get, in, like, as, as somebody who's yeah. been single, right? right? Like, so you got to like, reflect on yourself. Like, hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Sometimes it's like, is it, is it, is it me, or, or is it really that I just haven't that found that person that we're, all, like, on the same page with everything, you know? No, I like, mean, you're, you're never going to be on the same, on the same page things. with everything. That would be boring. Like, I'd like a little banter. No, I don't. I mean, but, banter no, is fine, but, like... Respect I'm, is the umbrella I'm to just, everything. I'm so, like, I'm if you respect the individual, like, it's just, like, different... I'm just overall, like, I'm just... Further along. Ooh. Ooh. And Ooh. 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 I just want to be smooth, cool, calm, collected. I'm Further like along in life. Yeah, like, A, a blessing not awarded to everybody, you know, so like, shout out to us for making it in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and listen, like, there's sometimes, like, in the past when I was younger, I'd be like, I just, I just need a good fight, right? Like, I don't ever feel like that anymore. I just don't want to do it anymore. That's not working. I that's know sweet. some people would say, oh, that's boring. No, I just want to be cool, chill, calm, collected. I don't want to fight about nothing. I, wanna, I don't want to do anything. Uh, I don't want it. I feel like in this day and age, uh, the lack of toxicity levels are, is the biggest flaw. Like, I find it. myself not toxic enough. Like, um, I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm a retired, I'm, oh, oh, no, thing, oh, right? no, but, like, I'm a recovering not. crazy person. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm a recovering <laughs> crazy girl, but oh, Lord. now it's just like, but I learned from recovering all Recovering crazy. Oh, I've had it on both sides. I was that, and then I had that done to me, and I was like, that's whack. Oh, you're blowing them up? Recovering crazy. 3,000 times. Don't I'm turning my phone off. <laughs> that is not me. I just, you see, I'm just so polar opposite of that, and I've never really been that that person. But, like, but I've had both to... sides of it. Like, I've been, like, the behavior I portrayed that was toxic. That, yeah. I, then that happened to me, and I was like, well, <laughs> this is kind of lame. I was in that you're being lame. for so long that I didn't really have... I just had a really like you know I, it started off rough for me relationships when I was young it started off rough for me so I was I was done with that for a very early age you know mm. what I mean I mean you're from the Bronx too like it. women out there just that they're, they're more strong they're, 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 they're outspoken and that's yeah. I mean and that's not necessarily a bad thing no it's but. not like I have my views and stuff like that for sure but like I would rather be with somebody who wants to talk out our arguments rather than to like be toxic about them I just treat each other how you want to be treated I, mean, I guess that's just what it is. Yeah, listen, we're going to go into this, we'll man. See it another man. day. Pop in front of We're going to get up out of here. See, see. I don't want to get up out of here. 929 WDEP, let's talk about it, the 401. Dr. Dave House in the building. I got Zampia. I got Bonnie Parker. All the way from Rhode Island. I got what's in the house. All the way. You know I mean? Let's uh, go. Uh, I mean, y'all, 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 listen. Uh, y'all tune in next week. We can get it crumped again. It's just the same old thing. Man. We're definitely you know gonna talk about the independent women. No, I want to talk about. I want to talk about the the, the women with only fans. Okay. Oh, we can definitely talk. What I want to talk about. Uh, it's a great topic, right? <laughs> Yo. No. Oh, if I'm not back, it's five minutes. Well, Just wait for Do you have a key? No. Are you serious? No, I, I, I really need the key. Just put it Find it, please. They spent some booze up in here recently, right? I'm like, oh, they just like, like, all the dudes on when I'm not there. Wait, you got, well, hello, you haven't been here for a happy year. Yeah. Sorry. So that's what, they're like coaching things in the Yeah, uh, I guess. Uh, so first, yeah, they're wild. Love that. Definitely interesting. This is going to work like 10 to 7. And then, like, 
I'm actually door knocking for this, and I talk over the kids at this, so I feel like it's kind of good. Yeah, why we got dead air? Why we got dead air? Why we got dead air? Put something to prop it and then you know. This is a skill that I have. Just him? Yeah, just one on it. We applied in November and it just hit. It, it made a purple off. Good. I've been paying But I thought we were going to get money back. Hey, what's up? This is your girl, Sophia Body. You are now tuned in to 92.9 WGUP Radio. Bust it up, man. Yeah, Why, you guys trying to go back in? Yeah. No, no, you're trying to open the door. It's not too open.